Okay, Timothy, this is uh, to answer the question about uh, how to use the tab key to move the second line over with styles. Is there a way to make hanging indents? Well, there is a way. Um, at first, I didn't see why you wanted to make one because whatever you did here, you lined it up nicely. Uh, in fact, I was only uh, looking at this block, I was only a little puzzled because, okay, you have two styles, list bullet and list, and for this one, you don't have this moved over. Uh, obviously, this is a, a kind of comment line on, on a, like a topic line. Um, and in this, they're both lined up, but here you've, you've moved it, uh, you've moved the lines over with tabs over here. And then you've had, you've got this starting, uh, you know, uh, all lined up. So I don't know, hey, did you want did you, were you just missing that? You wanted that over there like that? I'd say that to distinguish the lines too, that uh, you know you might want to add a little bit of uh, contrast uh, to the design so that it stands out. You know the important information there is the, the title, and then people can see easily uh, that this is a comment or annotation on the line above. Um, okay, so I, not until I went over here and hit your style did I realize, oh, okay, your style definition doesn't contain that alignment. So you're, you're asking me, how do I get that alignment into the style definition? And uh, here's the easy way. Uh, you make sure you have your paragraph marks turned on. You select the paragraph because the formatting info gets uh, coded into that paragraph mark. If you if you do things and you don't have that selected, and then try to apply it to the paragraph, you won't be applying it to the paragraph. Uh, all right. So what I want to do is I want to uh, make sure my ruler's turned on up here, and my the line I'm trying to change is shaded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that over to there. But I've got to remember where my start point was. That was back here. All right. I don't know if you saw that, but you, you, when you turn your ruler on, you've got some widgets on the ruler, and you've got to play around with them to figure out what they control. Uh, but and the thing is, they move together. So sometimes when you're trying to move one, you can't unhook it from the other. You just got to move it and then move the other one back. Uh, so you can replay what I just did. And then once I've done that, I can go over here to list and say update. All right. So now my style is coded uh, with that information. Anyway, I think that answers your question. So I hope that helps.